Well, local leaders are teaming up to make gun safety a priority for anyone with a firearm. And to remind them, if you have children nearby, extra precautions are necessary. CBS 4's Walter McCullough reports from Jackson Memorial Hospital. It's something doctors see far too often, the casualties of poor gun safety practices. There are over 200 children and youth that came into the Ryder Trauma Center at Jackson Memorial Hospital who had been shot. One in 10 of them died. UM's Jackson Memorial Hospital, along with Miami-Dade Police, hosting a free gun lock distribution to help prevent senseless deaths. Local leaders are here banding together to remind parents and adults in general to be responsible with firearms and make safety a top priority. If we can get one uh, gun lock in the right person's hand and prevent or slow down somebody having access to a weapon, there's a very good possibility uh, that this strategy will in fact save lives in our community. Thousands of people are unintentionally shot every year, many of them kids. I often talk about the fact that we have a moral responsibility to show up, to stand up and to speak up for our children. It is a community's responsibility. Today I'm urging people to not only show up, stand up and speak up for children, but also to lock up. Miami-Dade police distributed 300 gun locks at Jackson Memorial's Alamo Park Thursday. The cable is inserted either through the barrel or through the magazine opening. That prevents a bullet from being loaded. Gun safety experts say firearms at home need to have safety locks and they need to be securely locked away in a safe or cabinet that kids don't have the key to. Simply putting it away or hiding it in a closet, they say, isn't enough. And if you missed today's gun lock giveaway, not a problem because you can pick up a similar device to this one, including a padlock and cable at your local hardware store. In downtown Miami, Walter McCullough, CBS 4 News.